I'm Debbie Peverell, and you're listening to the weekly tip from basicboardgovernance.ca. Today I'm talking about social media policies and uh, whose opinion is it anyway? So now that we're communicating digitally a lot more than we used to, um, the question has come up about ramping up or improving the social media policies that many organizations have. One of the questions that I have seen is if someone is using their personal social media account um, to talk about their business or the business where they work, is that appropriate? The opposite question is, what if someone is using their organizational credentials to talk about something that is personal? Is that appropriate? So let me give you an example from recent history. An employee uses the social media credentials, the website actually of the company where they work, to post that the public health directives are killing their business and they think that COVID is no worse than the flu and the public health directives are actually too harsh. So the employee who posts that, is that the opinion of the organization? If so, then there's no problem with the policy. But what if that's the employee's personal opinion and it's not the opinion shared by the organization? Well, then what should happen? So I would encourage people to consider these examples and take a look at your social media policy and see if you have a remedy in your policy for when an employee is talking about your organization on social media without your permission.